All right, I think I got everything now. I think I can uh, start reassembling this thing. There's not really an order that I know of that you need to go in, so I'm just going to kind of go with my, go with my own thing. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to hit up the valve first. Not the valve, uh, the pump. I'm going to hit that up first. Put a little bit of stuff on it. Hey, I'm always kicking this thing. All right. I'm gonna do it like this right here. Some lube. Like that. I've got it right there. I felt the o-ring seat. It gave me some resistance, which is what I want. See if it makes note of anything else within this book. Alright, I've got that. It did make note of that uh, slot in the um, pump. It needs to face this way so the opening on the uh, pump housing needs to go this way facing the uh, filter there's a slot over here which is where that hole right there is you can see it yeah right here right there you can even see a little bit of light from it see it so that slot that you see in the pump housing up there, maybe, kind of, sort of. You can't really see it, but there's a slot right here on this pump housing. It needs to face this. Make sure it's facing that, or else it will not work correctly. That will affect your um, your um, pressure. So next up, let's do this right here. A little bit of cleaning on that, like that. Gonna set up in there like so. I'm at the turn. Let me turn this down for this. Dang it, me and this tripod, we just don't get along, do we? Pull that out the way. All right, flip it upside down. Like so. Flies. All right, so now, give this little, crap, drop it. This little ball bearing, wants to chase it down. Got it. Small ball bearing right here. It sits just like that. this goes right back down on it. Just put a little bit of lube on there real quick. Take it back out. There's a spring that's still in there, so I'll take care of that in just a second. Wipe this O-ring down with a little bit of fluid. I'm even going to wipe it down in here. Just like that. 
put that back in there like so better yet I'll show you another trick you have a little bit of grease not a whole lot you're not really needed with something like this put a little bit of grease on it put it down in there the way you know for sure it ain't gonna go anywhere so it don't bounce around and whatnot and my little handy dandy tool I made These need to be torqued down too, but I'll torque them down in a little while. That feels like a good seal to me. Make sure this is facing correctly. Feels good. Okay, got that one done. Get the plug in place on the pump. Not 29% battery. Need to hurry up and do this. So now, for the filter, once I find it, I laid it down somewhere, right here. For the filter, it's going to give a quick rinse. Not W40, this stuff. This stuff right here, it's going to give it a quick spray. Got some junk in there, of course. That's pretty good right there. I like it. Looks good to me. Make sure all that's clean down in there. And the rest of the stuff can be done like this. Angle it back down. A little, little closer. Alright. Finger in there. Any junk out. That sits just like that. Let me flip it upside down again. Make sure that binder, uh, that filter sits correctly because it has to go in this opening right here. So that's what we're going to do. Just like that. All right. Now for the fun part. The relief valve. So this right here, we'll go in first. Put a little bit of stuff on that too. Not mistaken. Yep, goes in toward the bottom. Okay. So, it sits like that. I'm gonna put a little bit of stuff on that wall too. Let's be on the safe side. Yep, that's all nice like. Yep, I felt it seat, that's good. So next up, you got springs you need to keep an eye on. Different sizes, as you can tell. This goes, should go like that right there. And this has a top piece to it. That's what it looks like. So now, put some stuff on it too.
I'm actually going to lay this one back on the side, that way I can, the way it doesn't fall out because it's upside down. Gently lay it back down. Just like that. And now, where did, <laughs> ah, here. That's got a new O-ring on it as well. For the, for the housing, I mean the plug, they call these plugs. I like it. Uh, like that. Got my tool. Now, don't. I can't remember if I showed y'all how that went or not, but this right here is the diagram for it. That's the plug right there. That right there is a large body. There's a small body that goes inside of that. I think you, know, I think you may have seen it. Springs and then the top piece. This right here kind of also, sh that shows a large body right there. I don't see the small body anywhere, but that's the large body. That's the top piece like I had mentioned, right there, and all that good stuff. Springs. Just about ready to put those top uh, crush washers on it. So I'm happy with that. Those plugs, let me check the uh, torque on them. 16 to 18 pounds. Okay. So 16 would be easily attainable. Hopefully I'll be able to get it. If my tool don't break. Alright, let's see. One. The further they get down, the harder it gets. janky tool didn't break so I'm happy about that so next a little quick spray number clean that out good like that same thing for this. And your pump, that little screen, goes right there. That's where it goes. So we're going to put it in a specified area. 
like that. Get your new gasket. Fit it appropriately. Give us one more spray down, hang on. Fit that on there good. I got it backwards. That's why I wasn't working. I need to snug those down but I'm about to end the video this will basically be it <clears throat> the only thing I got to do later on don't forget to do this either remember to mention those uh, little plastic things right there that are white they go up here those are essential you need those those two nuts stud right there sealing sealing stuff right there so you need to put them on there but other than that what you see this overdrive is done it is rebuilt it's not completely overhauled but it is rebuilt for the most part at least as far as the um, hydraulic stuff goes so hopefully this video will help you out somewhat if you have any questions message me I'll do what I can to get you the information you need hopefully this will be this will be a new life for this overdrive pain in the butt new life for the overdrive and a whole lot more drivability for this thing i haven't even taken this thing on a road trip yet and i've had it for a couple of years so we'll see how she goes if you like it be sure to hit the like button subscribe um don't tear me apart too much please but it's it's there so cool beans all right there's ricky over and out thanks for watching y'all all right Wanted to touch base real quick about the solenoid right here and how to take it apart. So on the solenoid you got a total of five O-rings that need to be replaced when we're building this thing. You've got two out here and the rest of them on the inside of this on the shaft right here you see. Got this right here. It's got two O-rings on it. This right here, this end piece has no ring on it so basically what you do is you carefully remove the c-clip and this thing is going to be a pain it's very small it's a pain to work with you remove that and this right here come on out behind this will be a very small spring keep an eye on that spring so inside of this it's going to look like this that's what it's going to look like on the inside of it if you can see that the o-ring this e-clip right here that you, you it's out of frame right here this right here goes on the inside of that you got butts up against this move the clip this here will come out followed by the spring and then you carefully maneuver this out. And that's it.